Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I did hear that it's not been confirmed, but I have heard that the the uh, the I antagonist. Had, as long as it's not a spoiler. Oh, okay, okay. They talk about the antagonist. The antagonist that becomes becomes a protagonist somehow. Mm-hmm. So my est- my guess about them doing like a fucking Metal Gear Solid too. Uh, that I'm assuming that's what you meant was uh pretty well on target. Yeah. And uh, but then I heard about the antagonist and how some people think it's this one thing. Or I don't fucking know. I don't really care. I stopped listening because their argument was dumb. Yeah, I heard a lot of but, people uh, got. Like, there's a lot of people at the office that were playtesting the game that didn't like a lot of the characters that they had in the story or something along those lines. So they did a lot of rewrites to try and make the characters more appealing. But the characters that they had... Dude, my thing is, is people come back because they love Ellie and they love Joel and they love the complex relationship those characters have and the complex relationship those characters have with the outside world. They love how they interact with different people and how Naughty Dog made this rich diverse environment without fucking up like all the other movie studios and game studios do like with like uh you know they're able to make a strong character without making their gender and uh, uh without pointing giant arrows at their gender they're able to make characters that have alternate sexual preferences without a giant neon sign that says look look at us we've got a gay character in our game look 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 see how progressive we are like they didn't have to do any of that it's just they didn't fire up that they hadn't fired up the sign yet it was warming up now this game's gonna be the sun i don't know man like look she's got a girlfriend now who's pregnant but that shouldn't no that's not well that's not it no (laughs) my point is is like i think that's normal Right. Yeah. It's as long as they're not look at they're not constantly like look at this and then acting That's as the mouthpieces. I for think people. it's gonna be a fucking teen drama, and I don't want that at all, bro. I would be so mad if this starts <laughs> up and it <laughs> plays out like a fucking freeform show, bro. I would be so pissed off. Well, the, <laughs> I see. Not they they handled it perfectly before. You know, they had characters that happened to be different, but the point wasn't that the characters were different. They just happened to be. And they were strong characters themselves or strong supporting characters. And that's how things should be handled. Yeah. You know, if you are, that's not the point of the game. So why would you waste a ton of time talking about it? Especially in a world where that kind of shit is even less consequential than it was before. Oh, yeah. You know, in in an apocalypse. And I think the first game handled it perfect, which is why conservatives and, and progressives and middle people and people who think on all sides of the fence... Everyone was able to agree it was mwah, magnifique, delicious, perfect. So the, what what I find the most infuriating is you have 60 million people who love these two characters and want to see where their story goes. And Naughty Dog's reaction to that is, we don't know where their story goes, so instead we're only going to give you their story up to here, and then we're going to kill a bunch of people and make you focus on somebody you hate. And be like, oh, look, there's this other story. And look, here's an opposite side of the coin. And oh, look, you know, this other person who was a victim in the past is now, you know, an aggressor. And oh, my God. And it's not only is that not a fresh idea, because that's been done to the gills. Damn, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to put over a fucking over again. I'm going to have to put a spoiler warning in this. I'm going to put it before we start this conversation, but I'm going to put a text thing. Yeah. Like over and over and over again over and over and over again has this plot twist if the hint that i saw and i haven't gone looking for it uh it just kind of slid in front of me but if what i saw is even remotely true they are taking the cheesiest most cornball storyline gender general storyline so that generic. has been i hate the whole cycle of revenge it's so overdone yes. it's so dumb and they even so... they released a video on youtube everywhere talking about the inside story and that was they just kept saying that cycle event cycle revenge like oh it's like ooh we're gonna subvert expectations could be a divisive game Are you not and then and then it's been a big thing since the 70s and then the fucks. problem is is they came <laughs> out and they were getting mad and 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 talking like like blaming fans for being not i don't know if the word that's being thrown around was homophobic but something was being thrown around that felt stupid um, and they were blaming fans for their way that they were treating these leaks and the way they were acting about what they have learned about them. And I'm just like, you said it yourself. It's going to be divisive. 
So why do you get mad when fans respond to a divisive matter in a divisive way? Like I, I like. Well, there's a whole audience out there that the moment if if like if I want to discredit you, all I have to do is say you're homophobic or you're transphobic or you're sexist or whatever. You don't have to say anything that supports that. All I have to do is say it. Yeah, out of the words. And then there are a shitload of people out there that will immediately flock to my side and buy everything I make. (laughs) Period. And I, they they try. It doesn't always work flawlessly. So you're saying because Ghostbusters weird. was so bad that even the people that wanted to support it didn't necessarily like it. But there have been plenty of projects out there that should not have succeeded, that have because they they tried that defense. Uh, unfortunately, there's enough of an intelligent audience out there that I don't think that we've. Uh, 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 one point in case it did succeed, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel did fine. And they tried saying the same kind of shit. But oh, that Oceans movie did not. And they tried that defense. I think the thing with Captain Ghost Marvel, Buster though, and they tried is, that is like one of those things where the name behind it is so like prolific that they could, again, it could, it's like Apple. They could Mar- sh- Marvel. Yeah, Marvel they... is the name behind it. Because most of the people that went to see that movie had no fucking idea who Carol Danvers is. So the garbage well, that they were served on a plate, they accepted. That's what I'm saying. It's like Apple, kind of. Like, where yeah. they could serve yeah. you, like, a flaming bag of shit on a really nice plate. And I mean, not even nice plate. Maybe, like, a plastic one from, like, fucking, like, a disposable one from Walmart. But it's the fact that the, the <laughs> Apple logo or the Marvel logo stamped on it, people will eat that shit up. That's just how it is. Yeah, and now I we're agree. seeing we're kind of seeing a pushback of it now with uh, because people are getting tired of seeing superhero movies. So it'll be interesting to see how Marvel moves forward if they'll be able to get away with more shit like that. Especially since they, made, they kind of technically hinted at Captain Marvel being s- somewhat necessary to see before you go see like uh because it came out in between before the new the final avengers movie came out so it's like she's gonna be in there we have to see it because it's gonna make sense and then, then you realize like this character is so fucking like unimportant to everything going on like i, I don't give a fuck she's a super saiyan te- technically that no, says yeah, stupid she just shit. shows up at the end for the girl power moment and then it's like it was so ham-fisted it was so bad but she oh, shows yeah. up girl power and then it's done that was, that was it. she shows up yeah punches him a few times girl power pose where women there spread all over like a nine mile battlefield somehow <laughs> magically converged at a nuclear point uh it was so dumb it was so dumb and i like you know, all these characters that were strong without anybody having to say they're strong and then like look hey look look it, it was a postcard it was so bad i'm sorry i didn't it just immediately i started having okay, nightmares okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, no, it's the name. It's the name sells oh, it. And so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's Naughty Dog. brand loyalty. That's all it fucking is. You see it everywhere. They know better. It is Naughty Dog that makes Last of Us, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they fucking... They know better. No, they don't. Because To different. sit there and to take I, I characters think, that people have waited, what, like, what, eight years? I think we need to get to a point where... To see again, yeah. and they're going to be like, here's a little bite-sized morsel. And now the rest of this is going to play really great, but you're going to hate all of it. I think we need to get to a uh, point. Because fuck you. I think we need to get to a point where if a company changes drastically, like the, the people that make up that company or that are developing the game, the name of them need to be changed. Like it doesn't have to be completely changed from Naughty Dog, but like change it to like a different formation of Naughty Dog or like the, the brand is reload, like relabel or something so that Shitty we dog. as gamers know that 75% of this team is not the same. There's a lot of people, a lot of the, the veteran people that were working on the original Naughty Dogs are no longer at the studio for this new one. Outside of like some of the ma- major names like Neil Druckmann, obviously, who's... Some of them left because of it. Yeah, a lot of the, and uh, I think a lot of them were not uh, very happy of the, the environment making games there with the crunch and other shit like that. So they've changed. So it isn't necessarily the same Naughty Dog. Like, Bioware isn't necessarily the same. Blizzard isn't necessarily the same. So I feel like either we have to become Blizzard more understanding. <laughs> we need yeah. to become more understanding of the fact that these companies have drastically changed and the people aren't the same that we're working yeah. on it. Um, or they just go and change their names or rebrand their logos. So when we see that, we know, oh, hey, these games are going to be different. It's just, it's dumb. I never, ever, ever thought Last of Us needed a sequel. And the only reason Ubisoft them, used to be like that. The only used reason, to be able to trust shit that came out of one of their, like they had Montreal, they had France, they had et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And you'd be able to put, you know, like if one came out of here, you're like, oh, 
well, that one's constantly pushes good shit out. So I'll definitely look into that, but I don't like what comes out of Montreal or I don't like, but then they closed like half their shit and condensed everything. And now they just all suck. <clears throat> so I'm, uh, again, I don't have to put a spoiler warning. I, I, I marked down the time though. So I'll like, have I tried to put not it, to now. Nah, it's fine. I'll put in a clip, be like, Hey, there are spoilers for the game. If you want to go in hundred percent blind, <laughs> skip to this point And it'd be after this discussion, but I definitely I've, not buying it. I'm I'm gonna watch someone play it because I want to see because I, I at this point I need the context to these actions because I don't agree with them whatsoever and I think this is it is a spit in the fans' faces what's going to happen if these leaks are 100 percent true and I feel the more and more they talk about it I feel like it is the case so um, I'm at the point where uh, I need to see the context like because they can be they can be divisive decisions that doesn't necessarily having a bunch of divisive decisions in your game does not make your story good no matter how well you do them because you constantly no. when people come so, back to things like stuff that they love they expect some element to be retained of what made them love it in the first place and you completely shattering yeah, all of like those LA. elements you completely shattering all those elements is is not necessarily what like i understand taking chances do it on a new ip bro like why this game did not need a second one? All you do is you make people have a bad taste. Not only your their their faith in you as a company, but now their taste of this franchise as a whole is damaged. It's not yeah. Uh, and and everything and was, also I oh I it's just such you, a shit show. I'm sorry. I think that you can agree. Like there is such a thing as using violence to tell a story. And then there's such a thing as using so much violence that it overshadows the story. Like, I think The Last of Us, the harshness of the violence spikes to show you the brutality of mankind. Yeah. You know, especially when people become baser creatures and when they're pushed to their limits and they twist and become villains and, and monsters and so on. Uh, because there's very different violence between you clashing against just people that are desperate to survive and they just want what you have and then violence against like remember when uh when you're trapped in that uh compound and you have the showdown in the restaurant against that madman mm -hmm. uh like that that guy is like fucking weird cult compound rape dungeon whatnot he had going on there like that's that's a very different kind of violence from the violence you see throughout the rest of the game right there's different kinds and there's dark like twisted agonizing violence and then there's desperation violence and they had all these different flavors of violence in this fucking game and i don't feel at any point in time the violence was not done in support of the narrative but in this new one if what i heard was correct uh, and there's there's uh, you know a handful of deaths and so on and there's one specific individual uh, that is not a main character from the the original game. It's a newer character who is in a special state of life, and they get their shit violently destroyed. And I don't understand how that emphasizes anything more than the other deaths did in that involved in that circumstance did not already emphasize the desperation of the killer, the killer's mindset. So you've already told us that this person is in this place and they're willing to do this thing and they're this type of thing. So why would you then already told us that they're in this place by showing us some of their actions beforehand? Also include a scene where they go in to say like uh, an orphanage and show them murdering babies, you know, that kind of thing. Like there's no need because yeah. you've already shown us them doing this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing. So we know that they're horribly destructive, evil person, and they're doing these horrible things, and they've got this horrible goal. We already know that. Yeah. It, so to sit it, there and drive the point home even further by showing them engaged in infanticide is disgusting. Yeah. It it also it comes across as it's exploitative. It's cheapening the overall message, and on top of that, it's just seen as shock value at that point. Like it's no, only. I'm not saying that they go in and kill a nursery full of babies. I'm just using that as an equivalent example to something else that happens, which just it just doesn't fucking make sense to show that. You could say it, you could say it happened, and or something. At the very most, that would be fine. But to show certain things happening the way that they do 
is uh, revolts me a little bit. Now I'm hoping that that is not the way it is, that, that it's changed, that it's handled differently. That part I'm holding out on. But if everything else which seems to have been true and this lines up with that, why would you do that? I don't they, understand who uh, you're trying to make happy here or who you're trying to get on your side. It's just cycle but of it's violence. Gross. Thanks, Steel Truckman. Fuck off. All right. Uh, <laughs> another thing, also on top of everything, is the way Sony's handled it. And it, I think I think companies need to somebody needs to sit everyone down and put put all these CEOs in classes that teach them what the Streisand effect is. Right. And for those who don't know, the Streisand effect basically means that if you take something, something bad happens. Bad publicity for your company, right? Or bad publicity surrounding your company, blah, blah, blah. And it exists on the internet. The internet's very vapid. It, nothing lasts long on the internet, right? So what we do, instead of trying to control something that will die down on its own because of the vapid nature of the internet, what we do is we leave it alone and instead of further public, because Sony literally fucked up this. All they did, yep. something bad happens, internet's talking about it, let it be. Shit's going to go down. Instead of abusing copyright systems to strike down people talking about these leaks to prevent the spread of them. And guess what you've done now? You've Streisand affected. You've, you've tried to censor people talking about it. And now the news of the censorship spreads. And now people are twice as pissed off because not only have you pissed them off with the decision that you've made, you've tried to prevent them from talking about it, which does not go well in the U.S. It doesn't yeah, go well in a lot of places. I can't, even, I can't even defend Sony anymore. Like, it's, uh, I hate Nintendo, and I hate Sony, and I fucking hate Microsoft. <laughs> We're so pissed like, sick, I'm so sorry. I'm like, like I don't have, I'm like, I'm, I have to go to PC now because there's no one... Like, uh, wow. I mean, I just that's the only direction I can go is PC because you don't have like a graphics card manufacturer stepping out there trying to stop people from talking or making like fucking it. Intel doesn't give a shit. Intel's done like, some bad uh, shit, but they don't know. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, but they don't give a fuck what you say <clears throat> about them. They're yeah. God. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's, it's just like I, I, I understand like and for certain elements of their con what they tried to do, I understand turning off comments makes sense. You don't want people getting spoiled in the comments. That's something someone has no control over. But if you have Joe Schmo 123 making a video talking about the leaks and only discussing them, only discussing that, at that point, that is public knowledge. You've lost your right to it because it's been leaked out to the internet. You can't tell Joe Schmo to not talk about your game. You can't. That's censorship. You're not allowed to do that shit. It's, it, it, and using a system that's automated to strike down channels for that and put these people's channels, which may also be their livelihood at line on the line because three of those strikes and your channels permanently deleted, which is, so could be someone's livelihood. That's yeah. fucked up. Like you can't be doing that. And it, and again, strike sound effect kicks in. Holy shit. We made a bad move. Let's further publicize it by making more bad moves. Let's censor some people, boys. Come on, Sony. And now a lot of people have come out and said, hey, it wasn't exactly Sony. It was people underneath Sony that were doing this shit. Still, they're hired by Sony. Blah, blah, blah. It's a Sony's responsible for it. It's a huge fucking story. And I implore you, if you're interested, go further check it out. Look up. Look into it more because we're not going to sit on this for another half hour because we're already an hour in. We just want to present our opinions on it, and I'm sure after this talk, you guys are very aware of what, how at least me and yeah. Sean think about it. I know Sam uh, is just waiting until it comes out to play himself, which is completely fine. And if you're still going to do that, that's fine. Yeah, do no that. hate. Like, really, no hate. If you're yeah. going to fucking buy it, if you want to play it, if you're going to enjoy it, that's fine. My opinion is oftentimes contrary to what other people think. I do not get my feelings hurt. Like, Sam likes Mortal Kombat 11. I think it's a dumpster fire. We're still friends. <laughs> We don't yeah. give a shit. Like yeah, it's not. No. It's not like our feelings are. Because we're not. We're not yeah. personally attacking each other. We're not personally attacking no. anyone that would go out and I am buy this game. Personally attacking Mortal Kombat 11. Oh yeah, but yeah, I'm not. We're not <laughs> saying more, more Sam. Point Nether Realms. Like I don't know what's going on with Nether Realms. Yeah, we're not saying Sam's a piece of trash human being because he likes puns and he's <laughs> in the Bible Belt, right? Like we're not. We're not being mean. Never, we're not, uh, we're not, not being, at all. Right? Us mean on this show, please. Now we are saying unified bad things about Activision, EA, and Ubisoft, though. That's that is a unified front yeah. that we hold here. And at, just jump, just to jump in real quick. Um, yeah, I, I understand. Like the uh, there's been. I mean, that's the biggest thing in the gaming industry right now is talking about the leaks with, with Last of Us 2. Um, 
I, again, I think that I understand that people have a, they're very attached to this storyline. They're very attached to this franchise. Especially I'm not very. I'm not too familiar with it because I've only played it a little bit. I haven't finished the first game, and yes, oh, you I know. Totally do that. It's good. Weird. Um, but I'm still getting the second one because of just because of how it looks, and I love the voice I actors might, who are in it. I might recommend playing the second one. Oh no, I, I I might recommend playing the second one first. Just like categorize it in your mind as like a fan made one, right? <laughs> And then go back yeah. and replay the first one because that one's really good. Yeah. Right. Um, and then, yeah, then you I, might I, not be as hurt. Yeah. Of course. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> but, but I want I want I want to experience oh. it myself. Just just like with um, just like with the new Star Wars thing. Okay. I'll tell people. That's a whole I different. Think it's terrible. That's a whole I think different can of words. I, I don't know, but it's, it's just an example. I would tell them it's terrible. See it if you want to, but I'm just going to tell you it's terrible. Okay. What are we talking I know about? people are. I know people are saying that this new story the new plot or the leaks and make it terrible. I'm still going to play it for myself so I can find out because I want to experience for myself. I want to play it. I want to be engrossed in it. So I'm going to just do that. Now, am I wasting money? Maybe I might be, but however, I'm looking forward to it. I want to play it. Yeah. And then, so uh, I also recommend do it just because it gets, you know, it makes your nostrils tingle. Yeah. It and doesn't that's matter. plenty of you good reason right. to do it. It's your fucking yeah. money. It's your right. Yeah. You could do it because the fucking game case matches your socks. I mean, you don't have I mean, to have any particular reason. I have several uh, apparels based on the Flash. I have a lot of socks. I have shirts. I have hats. So I mean, what? you know, <laughs> yeah. I you didn't know that? <laughs> no, no. I was just I like, oh, we're talking about socks now. <laughs> it's like I didn't expect that. Okay, we're talking about socks. Uh, I got Yukio socks and I got R two D two socks, boys. I can pull them out. We're having a we're fucking having a um. Oh, what is that called? <laughs> Uh, what is that like? Do your socks home, have jelly on them? The home? Sh no, it's it's the like the Egyptian thing he wears that is around his neck. The giant fucking chain that's not feasible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably like horribly pounds. awkward. Sticks away from his neck like yeah. eight feet. It's, it's probably stabs him in the chest too. It probably hurts to wear. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck he walks through a door with that thing. Uh, <laughs> say the same about his hair. So fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs>